This video will walk through the process of running the assignment and curriculum report in OK College Starts Professional Center. And that report is your ICAP report that you'll be using to track student progress throughout the year and to provide to your accreditation officer during your audits. So to begin, you will log into the Professional Center, which is located at procenter.okcollegestart.org. On your homepage, you will click the second tab at the top, which is for reports, and then click Create a New Report. For this video, we are running the Assignment and Curriculum Report, which is located in the second section under Tracking Reports. And in the first drop-down box, you will choose your school's ICAP name. Typically, there's only going to be one listed there for you to choose. In the second drop-down box, you will choose the grade level that you want to see on your report. So in this example, I'm going to select 12th grade. Also, you will scroll down and find the section that says filter by graduation year. You'll fill in the yes bubble and select that same grade again. The top place where you're listing 12th grade is telling the report to include the activities you've assigned to the senior class. And then down here in the graduation year, you're telling it which students to include, the students that are currently in 12th grade. So you need to have the same grade listed in two spots. Then you can click continue here or at the bottom of the page. You'll indicate if you'd like a graph included in your report or not, and then click Create Report. And then you will have your graph. The numbers here under your graph line up with the chart just below it, indicating activity one on this graph is activity one on this list, the career key in this example. So within this chart, you're seeing every activity that's assigned to the grade level you ran the report for, the number of students that have completed that activity and what percentage of the class that is. In this chart, if you notice here at the end of the activity, it says 12th grade, that means your report settings are um, set up in a way that this is marking complete if the student completed it while in 12th grade. For the activities that don't have a grade listed, the report is looking for, has the student ever completed this activity? And if they have, then it's marked complete on the student side and here on your report. As you scroll down just a little bit further, now you have columns again with the numbers that correlate to the chart above, and then your list of every student in the grade that you've included in this report. So these are my 12th grade students, these eight activities, or what we've assigned to 12th grade on the ICAP. So across this first row, I can see this student doesn't have any completion dates. They have not completed any activities from this year or the ones we're picking up from previous years. The second row, um, I can see the student has a couple here filled in. They've done a little bit, but they're missing a couple still. On this third line, you can see the first five boxes are blank. Those are things the student should have been doing this year as a senior. The report has picked up these activities from the three previous years. So these are, in this example, these are the assessments the student should have done in ninth, 10th, and 11th. There are completion dates. Those activities are complete. So our student on the bottom row, you can see, does have a completion date filled in for every activity. So they've done all the things they were supposed to do while in 12th grade, plus it's picking up that, yes, they did these activities from previous years at some point. So this 12th grade report would have all your information that you need to see your student progress, as well as the report you would need to send to your accreditation officer. At the top of the report, you can print this. You can also export and choose if you want this to be exported into a PDF or an Excel document to do further notes or sorting. Um, and then you can, of course, print it or email it uh, to have it ready for your accreditation visit. For additional resources on the ICAP settings or running other reports, click on the resources tab and then the ICAP resources submenu. For further assistance, please contact OK College Start.